He's not by himself, right? There's, there's like six. Yeah, there we go. Dalton there. Indomitable Dalton. Level 85. We have a quest to kill him. We're going to put that off a little bit because I'm only level 83. And he's level 85. I might be able to do it, but he's got a lot of friends too. So, probably best if I brought Melia for that. She's much better at dealing with a large group. But either way, we are headed over here. And... I should be able to find him here. Yes. So it looks like the... All right. So we never got that location. Interesting. Uh, this is the Oath Sanctuary. Here's where Scarlin is. If memory serves me correctly, he has something that I care about when I trade with him here. Uh, we'll bring Melly in the party just in case uh, his quest activates. He has a quest for us as well. Uh, Night Vision 5. Increases accuracy of physical attacks at night. Um... I'm going to try to go without it. Five. Uh, I kind of need it, though. You know what? I'll, I'll trade for two. Give me the sale price here. Yeah, I have a flood element. You know what? I have a Telethia Lightwing. I definitely don't need that. Are you that? Anytime I hear the word element, though, I'm a little scared. All right, we'll get one more, and then we'll move on. Yeah, these actually turn out to be really nice. Uh, the Telethia Lightwing it was. That's what I was giving them. Okay, so let's bring uh, Melia in the party just in case the other thing activates. I'll switch you out. I do want Fiora still in the party. All right, so let's talk to Scarlin here. Scarlin does have a quest, but he's also who I need to talk to for the quest. So it's a little bit weird. So, Scarlet, how you doing? Which activates first? Oh, looks like the quest I already started activates first. So I didn't need Melia just yet. Rosiel wants to know where Galvin is? I did not tell Rosiel, but Galvin saved my life. He transformed into, into a Telethia, but even so, he protected me when I was being attacked. Once I was safe, he flew away toward the Imperial Palace. Perhaps he went to save someone else. So we got an update to the quest here. I think it's just a check mark. Yeah, nothing else there. We'll have to talk to everybody else. But uh, Scarlet does have a quest for me. In order for this to show up, you do need to have cleared Mechonis Core. I will say that if you are looking for Scarlin and you already did his quest, he moves. Um, he moves over where everybody else is at the base of the statue. So it'll be easier to find him, actually. Let's talk to Scarlin, though. We'll get his quest. Are you that? Oh, it is you? The High Antia used to hold an Imperial ceremony here. Did you know that? Please tell me more. I'm sure that Shulk won't know what to do. What? It's not exactly hard. I can do it. I did not think you knew. The tradition died out year long ago. The tradition died out long ago, so it is hardly common knowledge. A friend in the Ministry of Records told me while we were out drinking. He has changed into a Telethia now, though. Anyway, regarding the ceremony, it requires the four Radiants scattered around the world. I believe them to be in places with links to my people. The ceremony was conducted at the emblem over there. When it was over, they would be granted something important. That is all I remember. Coming to this place reminded me of the ceremony, you see. I am only telling you because I think you might be able to do it. Will you give it a try? I have heard of the old imperial ceremonies. I wonder what they were like. As a Hyantia, I would certainly like to try it and see. I too am, am intrigued as a fellow Hyantia, but I am unable to travel around the world as you can. He doesn't have access to fast travel like I do, or junk stuff. So will you do it? So we get the Imperial Ceremony. The Imperial family used to hold ceremonies in Satoral. Perhaps completing this ceremony will grant you something that may be of use in future battles. Collect the Radiance from all around the world in order to perform the ceremony. This is a tough quest. You can tell because the rewards are 66,000 gold, 90,000 experience, and an unknown prize. But we also get another quest. This is what we have to complete in order to get the actual ceremony going. This is Imperial Ceremony Offerings. 
There are Radiants located in various places relating to the Hyentia. Travel the world and look for the Radiants. Multiple objectives. Please check the quest log. No rewards for this one because it's part of the other quest, technically. I do not know what is granted when the ceremony is performed, but it must be truly special. I know you will succeed. Okay, I'll give it my best shot. I too will give it my best shot. I don't shoot though, that is Charlotte's thing. I tried to copy you, but never mind. <laughs> it's no problem. Come on, let's get to work. So let's take a look at these quests, because, well, they were asked us to look here. So uh, we have to collect the Radiant, and the Radiants are the Mist Radiant, the Ocean Radiant, the Imperial Radiant, and the Snow Radiant. And these are rather difficult to find sometimes. So we have the Mist Radiant. It's in Basin Cave in Sartoral Marsh. That one's not too difficult. We have Central Seal Island at Aerith Sea. That one's a little bit more difficult. We have Ceremony Hall in Hyantia Tomb. I believe that is the most difficult. And then we have the Sealed Tower at Valak Mountain for the Snow Radiant. That one uh, we have not been to, and that's the reason that, if memory serves me correctly, I can't uh, do one of the heart-to-hearts, but uh, we'll go through them later. So, we have several things. We're gonna do the easiest one first. After all, we're pretty close to where we need to be. Might even be easier if I jumped from here. No, no, it's easier to go from Sororal statues. Not foggy out today. Don't have to be concerned about anything. So we have to go back to the Basin Cave. Now, we've been through here before, but I don't remember having too much of a difficult time around here. I remember this place being rather easy. So we'll head back and we'll get the Radiant that we're looking for. Actually, no, I think the Radiance will be kind of easy. I could be wrong. I could be thinking about something else. But that term, uh, Ceremony Hall, threw me off. So let's head down the cave. You can see where it is. We will have to get on land in order to get to it. So I'm trying to be a little cautious here. I don't remember having too much difficulty getting there. There is a bit of a current, but not too much. There we go. On to land. Up top and across the bridge. We should be able to get ourselves the radiant that we're looking for. Also a chimera rabbit, which I think is nice. This looks important. Here we can get the Mist Radiant. First Radiant down. So let's head out. And this is one that I'm a little nervous about because I don't think I'm fully ready. But we want to head back to Aerithsea. This is one of the maps that we have not fully completed. I am fully aware of that. Uh, we want to go to Central Seal Island. Now, if memory serves me correctly, uh, high-level monster shows up here, which is why I'm nervous about it. But... Yeah, the Asara Telethia here. Alright. Let's try to go around it. And we'll see if I can avoid it. I want to get up top. I'm not even sure that's the highest level monster around here, either. Nope, that'd be him. If memory serves me correctly, I think that's what it looks like. Alright, but up here we can find ourselves the Ocean Radiant. Luckily we were able to avoid the Telethia that's guarding the path up here. So that is the second one. Uh, the next one... Uh, yeah, no, it's not the, uh, the area that I was thinking of. Getting the Radiants aren't difficult, but... Uh, other things are. Uh, we want to go into the Hyantia Tomb at this point. And we want to go to Ceremony Hall. Notice that we haven't completed Hyantia Tomb's map either. There's a good reason for that. And there it is, right out in the open, in the middle of Ceremony Hall. The Imperial Radiant. That looks like a interesting wall. Alright, let's get out of here. We want to go to uh, Herrick's Chapel. Yeah, I'm thinking of 
completely different locations. Um, I'm getting ahead of myself, if I'm being honest, but... Really, the Radiants are not that difficult. Uh, we want to go to Herrick Chapel next. And that's the Sealed Tower. I was thinking of a, of a different seal that is preventing us from going to a heart-to-heart -heart that we had access to. I have the affinity for it. There's no reason why I can't get it other than I can't open the door to get to it. But here we can find the last Radiant. You have collected all the Radiants, returned to Satoral to perform the ceremony. There's the Snow Radiant. So we are done. You have a lot of things to explore in Valak Mountain as well. Uh, but for now, we'll go back to Satoral Marsh. And we will go to the Sororal Statues. And I think we'll be fine here. Get a little nervous because it's a rather high level. But I should be fine. Let's go ahead and make it uh, noon. I went the really long way that time. But hopefully I'll be able to see a little bit. It is foggy, unfortunately. Yeah? Yeah. But here we can touch the adulthood emblem. That sounds wrong. But we'll offer the radiance. We are an adult now. We accept your ritual trial. And we're up against a Radiant Terex here. I don't have a good party for this crap. I'm gonna see what I can do. Speed shift first. I don't have a healer. But I got Dunban, so it'll be fine. Can I move now? I can't move. All right, sword drones it is. Yeah, not a good party for this. Especially with Melia. I forgot. Like, oh, that's right, I have the bad party with me. Alright, we're encouraging him. We're getting him down. Eventually. Spear blade. All right, we'll drain his strength again. We can move. That's good. Amelia is not being super useful in this fight. Oh, you don't say. I could lose this one. Big Gore 8. Gonna do 2,700 damage. Can't really heal him. I'll warn him, and we'll go for the Blossom Dance. Oh, so close to, to finishing him off. Alright, it's fine. Down he goes eventually. 66,000 gold, 90,000 experience, and a High Entia Emblem for our trouble. Offering the Radiance made a Guardian appear. Defeating it earns you the High Entia Emblem. So yeah, even if I have a bad party, I can take on uh, relatively high-level enemies here. That is a lot of experience that I got from that one. I'll take it. What do we have in the chest? Sky Jewel. A Graciel Helm and Crystal. I'll take it. Uh, I was like... It didn't occur to me until I was in the middle of the fight. Oh shit. I don't have a good... Good party with me. Alright, so... We're gonna head in here. We have a High Entia Emblem, which they don't really talk about here. Um, they pretty much gave me a key. I'm going to utilize the key. What's that over there? like coming at me I don't I don't see it there's is it up more they shouldn't there shouldn't be a monster over there all right we're, we're going to ignore it uh, we want to ride the elevator now don't I have to be a little careful about this yes all right so I'm gonna have to jump off the elevator that's what makes this one a little bit difficult bye guess you guys are needed I might have to do it from the top down. It might be easier for me to time it that way. Hey, nice to have you guys back. 
Okay, so yeah, I missed it. Thought it was a longer ride. So, all right, now we're gonna take it down. One and two. I think I missed it. Yep, I missed it. So let's uh, go back down to the bottom and we'll try it again. Not sure I'm gonna be able to do it from the bottom going up, but once again, we're gonna give it a try. I'm not a fan of this one. It's a secret. If you don't know it's there, you just don't know it's there. Um, but they did give you a high Hyantia emblem. How you're supposed to know what to do with it, I'm never entirely sure. Once again, like there's a monster like right there. Must be up. All right, we're gonna ride the elevator. All right, let's, it's not there. Maybe I have to do it going up once I know where it is. There. All right, we made it. it was easier going up. All right, back here we can find another high Antia chest. It's been a long time since we saw one of those. Last time they gave me ruby glasses for it when we were in the high Antia tomb. Let's see what's in here. It only opened though because we had the high Antia emblem. I didn't necessarily say that though. And we got days plus five and a grace cap for our trouble. Uh, let's see if we can talk to Scarlin and maybe he'll let me know what I got before we start moving on. But uh, basically we got a key. Keys are always nice. So let's head back and talk to him. See if he tells me what I got was super special because it was, it's awesome. And also we're gonna start getting to the point where I have to fight higher level enemies than I am right now. And that makes me nervous. I don't want to do any actual grinding in this game. The quests are supposed to grind for me. Oh, it's too late for him. Scarlet, I believe, comes out at during the daytime here. So there's Rosiel. That's just a normal refugee. See over here? No, I think that's female anyway. Uh, let's make it night. Didn't we finish his quest? He should be here. No, I think he has a second quest for us. No, there's Scarlin. How you doing, Scarlin? Since coming here, I've come to realize just how strong Rosiel is. She always stays positive, even in these dark times. I think I need to be more like her. I know she went through a lot, too. Even so, she does everything she can to care for the others. As her boyfriend, I wish I could do more to help. So, he doesn't tell us anything about what we picked up. It's kind of important. But we got ourselves a thing. Hooray! Uh, let's warp out of here. I don't think I have to be nervous about this one, but I am. Uh, back to the High Antia tomb. This might be an area that I don't actually want to go to, but uh, we want to go to Ceremony Hall again. Let me make sure I have a good party just in case. This this could end poorly. Um, we'll swap Melly out for Sharla. I need a healer. And I want to use Fiora. I haven't used her too much. Even though she doesn't have the best setup, she's got a pretty damn good setup. So east here, notice that emblem right there? Yeah, it's a door. It's not a wall. So we'll head back here. Yeah. This is the one that I do need to be worried about. So we get a sense of it. Um, it's level 96, Furious Jozan. I'm going to have to... Actually, if I go slow... No, no, you're in the path. I will take on Furious Jozan some other time. We'll we'll have to come back. I thought that was the case, but uh, yeah, it wasn't mentioned on the wiki when I talked when I looked at this quest. By the way, there's a level 96 monster there. No, did not mention it at all. So, yeah, that was the part that I need to be worried about. We will come back uh, probably with Melia. Melia, I remember being particularly effective against that one. But for now, we will head out. 
um, to another place where we can hopefully get a treasure chest. Uh, Josan there was guarding the treasure chest. We want to go back to Aerith Sea. We want to go to the Ether Plant. And we want to head west to the Hode Refuge. Yes, there's quests here. We are ignoring them. I don't think it... Oh, it is up here. Notice that they did land here. I think we went over this before. That there were a couple Hyantia hanging out here. You have to be careful in the Aerith Sea, though. There are some high-level monsters, as we saw. Some of these are just uh, hanging out. Once again, we will talk to everybody later. Right now, we have other, more important work to do. Like, get collectibles. There's some good stuff here at the Ether Plant. I've talked about that before. This was a good pl good place for me to get some collectibles. All right, so <coughs> west of the ether plant, if you remember, this did lead us to the Hode Refuge before. That's our goal again today. I mean, it like halfway there. That was one hell of a jump. Nicely done, Fiora. So we can head forward and see what we can find over here. I don't think there's going to be too many difficult enemies around here. I was kind of hoping to fight with Fiora, but that's not going to be the case. Level 57, or sorry, 37, not even 57. 37. That is not strong. I remember stuff around here being much stronger than that. Maybe it's inside. Either way, we want to head in, if memory serves me correctly. And sometimes it does. It should be behind pretty much everything here. So let's head down. Now I have my notes as saying behind the Orluga. I don't think that I meant this one or this one. Oh, it is. It is these ones right here. Behind this Pulsar Luga right here. There's another emblem. And we can sneak through and find ourselves another treasure chest. Let's open it up. And earn ourselves Topple Plus 5 Shade Glasses and Argos Gauntlets. I'll take it. Some nice stuff. Some nice stuff. Could be better. Could be worse. But... I think we have one more destination ahead of us, and I will have to fight here. I'm a little nervous about it, but it is still here in Aerith Sea. We want to go to Sultnar. Sultnar Seal Island. Uh, we have not gone to this location yet. It is south of here. What was that? I saw something flying there. Oh, right, right. I remember this. We've been here many times. So down there is our destination. So let's jump and fall forever until eventually we can get there to a new coast. There's lots of areas around uh, Earth Sea that we have avoided. There's a good reason for this one. And we'll see if I actually have to... Uh, to fight it. I'm kind of actually hoping that it shows up. I'm a little under leveled for it, but I might have to start fighting it now. So let's head forward and see if we can't find him here. It's actually a much longer swim than I anticipated. Also not seeing any collectibles along the way. But eventually, we will find this man. Man, it's not really a person, but uh, we will find this unique monster. Yeah. So this is called the Chromar Coast. There are some high-level monsters around here. We'll take some of them on. We're here, after all. Don't let a single one escape. 
He's immune to it, of course he is. Now let's get the speed shift on and start going. We still got speed up. Not enough for sword drones yet. All right, looks like speed's gone. Let's go for the sword drones. Okay, that hurt. We killed one. We need you back. Heal round, please. Yeah, we got a foot trap. That will inflict a bind on him. Charla, what are we going to do? Let's get, to it, let's get that going on him. All right, that did the trick. Final cross. Double win. Down goes a Goldie. We got a low grat still to go. Yeah, I resisted the debuff. They did not, unfortunately. Let's get lock on going. Spear blade. Could have done that while he was still toppled, but uh, wasn't hitting him at the time. We win. We make a great team. Let's press on. And there's one enemy down. <laughs> a will wisp staff. That could be good. What's in the nice treasure chest here? Heat bullet and sword drive. Wow, that is really nice. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, just use that immediately. Sword Drive, Heat Bullet we already had, say sorry, so wow, we're getting repeats. Those things are notoriously difficult to get. No, no, oh, it's just Hilms. All right, so let's head up. You know what? This is going to take us a little bit because everything's about our level or even higher. Actually, there's, there's higher level stuff up there. So we will continue from here next time. That is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. I've been Baller Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by my Chromar fighting squad of Charla, Fiora, and Dunban. Shulk, Ryan, Ricky, and Melia have been along with us. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.